This demonstration is a brief hands-on demonstration using a chicken breast model to demonstrate incision and drainage of a abscess. We will be demonstrating the technique, some of the commonly used instruments, and discussing the indications and potential complications. Several instruments that may be useful for incision and drainage of an abscess include a number 15 blade scalpel as well as a suture removal kit with disposable scissors and forceps. In addition, local anesthetic such as 1% lidocaine and appropriate syringe and needle will be necessary to adequately anesthetize the skin and underlying structures. When performing an incision and drainage, adequate anesthesia is necessary to relieve pain. A abscess cavity and environment is inherently acidic and anesthetic is not as effective as in a non-abscessed area. When performing an incision and drainage after ad adequate anesthesia has been achieved and the skin has been cleansed with a antimicrobial agent, an approximately one centimeter to a half a centimeter incision is made at the pointing or most fluctuant area of the abscess. The fluid and pus is then expressed from the wound. The incision can be increased to adequately drain the abscess. It is more important that the incision in the skin and into the underlying subcutaneous space where the abscess has accumulated is of adequate size to produce drainage. Often it is indicated to place a small wick within the opening to prevent immediate reclosure of the skin as reepithelialization can occur within 24 hours and the abscess can reaccumulate. Abscesses of long duration oftentimes have loculation or multiple pockets within the cavity. These will need to be broken up using a digit or in this particular demonstration using a scissors and forceps. Insert the scissors and spread circumferentially around the abscess cavity to break up any smaller pockets that are remaining and express any remaining pus. An abscess frequently occurs when a superficial skin infection extends into the subcutaneous space and begins to accumulate with neutrophils and bacterial debris. This is essentially what is commonly known as pus. Without adequate drainage of this space, the antibiotics that a patient may be placed on do not reach the area where the bacteria are growing and the abscess can continue to extend and further propagate the infection. Systemic antibiotics are unable to adequately treat an abscess and the abscess can only resolve with correct surgical drainage. <music>